Hi, Cass Bear on the 18th of May 2022. I'm going to do a very quick note on this, which I think is last bottle out of my case of this wine, which is 2005 uh, Sagrantino de Montefalco Pagliaro Secco from uh, a man called uh, an estate called Paolo Bear. Uh, we're in Umbria here in central Italy. Uh, Sagrantino is a great variety. Montefalco, the fabulous sort of hilltop town around which this amazing grape is grown. Sagrantino, it's a, it's a, it's a bold, big, uh, great variety. It produces wines of deep colour, lots of structure, great uh, age worthiness. So um, this is a good thing because we're drinking the uh, 2005 here, and we offered this God. Oh, you know, more than a decade ago, 15 years ago, maybe. And it's got a little bit of volatility to it. I mean, it's almost opaque in colour. It's got a little little bit of volatility to it. But an amazing, uh, mature nose of, um, sort of sandalwood and dry tobacco, licorice and... It's got a deep thread of, of dark, dark cherry. Fruit, which which is yeah, it's just part of this, the dry effect. Um, comes across as dry, that, that um, high toned aspect is, is present, but uh, it's not upsetting me overly. Cold, cold tea, and um, damp earth, and um, yeah, licorice. It's lots of fascinating things, things going on here. Mm. And Sagrantino's. You know, it can have really savage tannins in its youth, and this wine really was was very, very tannic. But those have really melted into the background, really only become uh, particularly noticeable at the at the very end. Um, and it's just now medium plus weight, elegant, structured, piquant. Um, I. The bottles next door, but I think it. I think it said fourteen plus fourteen, maybe fourteen and a half percent alcohol. Just you know, the the, the structure is there right the way through. The tannins are are right, but upright. They're sort of uh, you know rather architectural in a Christopher Wren sort of a way. Um, nice acidity, length is, is fabulous, a fast, uh, you know, as old wines can be absolutely fascinating, fascinating and com complex series of um, flavours rolling over it. Um, not a modern wine in any sense, but I think uh, Paolo Bayer Estate is really the, you know, people talk about Arnold, Arnold, Arnaldo Cap Caprai. Um, but I think Paolo Bayer is much less talked about, but I think, you know, produces among the finest wines of that commune in Umbria. It's just a great, great thing. And uh, alas, that I have no more. Um, I suspect it's, it's doubled in price since it's been in my cellar, but um, there we go. Tastes all the better for having done so. Um, delicious thing, 2005. Sagrantino de Montefalco Pagliaro Secco from Paolo Bayer is just um, a monument, absolutely fabulous.